Welcome to episode 2 of the Cabin Build series. In this week's video, we are finishing the last steps of the foundation before we start building the structure of the cabin. I'm Eugenia, and this is Pepe, Aspen, and Lolita, and we are now building our new home. We have been traveling around Europe for the past year in our self converted camper van. But looking to live a simpler life, grow our own food, and build our house, let us here. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. What's up, everybody? River work is basically adding steel rivers before pouring the concrete. These steel bars will take the tension loads while the concrete will take the compression loads. These reinforcement pieces should be at around 3 cm from the concrete edges, to avoid getting rusted with the time. To make sure they don't move while we pour the concrete, we attach them with metal wire to the forms. We will be placing a steel platform on top of the concrete footings for many reasons, but mainly to have it separated from the floor. The anchor bolts get placed in the concrete on each footing and are used to attach the platform to the foundation. 
We have all the forms ready for concrete. I'm not quite happy with the distance between between the river and the end of the wall. That's a pity because we order these squares to be a couple of centimeters smaller, but uh, they messed up the order and we didn't want to wait any longer. So, I mean, we still have a couple of centimeters here, but uh, it's better to have three and a half, something like that. We're gonna pour the concrete slowly and then make sure this is uh, sitting in the center. And one, once the um, once the concrete is set, I'm gonna put the screw in there. Uh, I already have marked the location of the of the template, and then we're gonna just leave it leave it like this, waiting for the concrete to to harden. Because the land has been abandoned for years, we wanted to seed some plants to nourish the soil fixing nitrogen. And using the technique of chop and drop right before springtime, we will also add organic matter to help create a better quality soil with the years. We have a permaculture project of creating a food forest in this part of the land, where we are going to plant a wide range of native and fruital trees. We just finished pouring all the concrete. We need to wait a few days to to put the, the structure on top. Here's how it's looking. 
and now we're gonna start digging a hole to put this this planter inside we're gonna make some holes in it and um, put gravel and sand to make a great water tank and that uh, we can pour the water it's gonna be just the sink water and the shower from the van so we're gonna make holes all over the place put gravel sand gravel sand gravel sand and dig a hole and put it inside and all the pipes are gonna be connected to this water filtration system We were just starting our day and received a call, material was here. We thought it was going to be an easy day, but Vicente, the truck driver, drove out of the road. Right after our neighbors pulled him out, he got stuck again on top of our hill. And just when we thought, our problems were all solved, the material didn't fit through the side of the truck! Okay, okay, enough with the drama. We work it out with the help of our community. <laughs> 